Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we will discuss the pressure areas which are associated with jet streams. Now whenever we see a report on jet streams or we see any news on jet stream, we will generally find that a high pressure area is associated with the lower extension or equator word extension of our jet streams while a low pressure area is associated with the upward or northward extension of this jet stream. So we'll try to understand that what is the mechanism which causes a high pressure over here and a low pressure over here. So we have already seen in previous videos that a jet stream is formed by a balance of a pressure gradient force which tries to move the air stream in the northward direction because there is a temperature difference here you will find hot air and here you will find cold air mass and therefore there is a pressure gradient because of which. So this pressure gradient tries to move this airstream in the northward direction while here we have a Coriolis force which tries to deflect this airstream in the right hand direction and it is under the balance of these two forces we see that this airstream moves. Now one thing we can notice over here is that this jet stream takes a turn over here and if we try to take a center point then we will find that this is the center point of this curvature. Similarly, the jet stream again takes a turn over here and the center point of this curvature would be somewhere around here. Now we know that anything which takes a turn or which moves around a center point, a centrifugal force is applied on that. So here we can see in the form of green arrows the direction of centrifugal force which is applied on this jet stream. Now here the centrifugal force is acting in the direction of pressure gradient force. Therefore, a combination of these two is there in opposite of Coriolis force. So to balance this centrifugal force, the Coriolis force has to increase. But Coriolis force can only increase if the velocity of the air increases. And therefore, we will see that the air over here moves a little faster in order to balance these two things. And therefore, we will see that the air is moving at a very high speed over here compared to other parts. Now similarly when we take this curvature, we will see that the centrifugal force is acting along with the Coriolis force. Now these two forces are higher than the pressure gradient force and the only way these can be balanced is by decreasing Coriolis force. And Coriolis force can decrease only if the velocity of the stream decreases and therefore we will find that the air over here is moving at a much lesser velocity compared to other parts. So far we have seen that the air is moving at a very high speed over here and the air is moving at a very slow speed over here. Now this air stream which comes from here towards here you will see that air is moving very high speed over here therefore a lot of air will come here but it is moving at a very slow speed over here. So if we take a cross section over here we will see that the amount of air which is coming over here is very high but the amount of air which is leaving this cross section is less and therefore there is an accumulation of air more and more air is collected in this region similarly if we were to take this point then you will see that the air is coming very slowly over here because the speed of air is less over here but the air is moving very fast over here so more and more amount of air is depleted because the amount of incoming air is less while the amount of air that is leaving this area is high. So there is a divergence or dep depletion of air over here. So now we can see here that because of a convergence here or because of accumulation of air over here we see that the amount of air increases while here we can see that the amount of air present over here is decreasing because the air incoming is moving at a very slow speed while the air that is outgoing is moving at a very high speed while here the air which is incoming is moving at a very high speed while the air leaving here is moving at a slow speed. So air is accumulating over here. So this is called convergence area and this is called divergence area because the air which is accumulated over here it will finally start to descend downwards. We can see here that this air which is accumulated over here is moving towards the ground and when it reaches the ground we will see a high pressure region is created. On the other hand, if we go to the divergence region, we will see that air is depleted from here. And the only way to 
make more air over here and to and to compensate for the depletion is to take more air from the ground so you can see that air is rising from the ground towards the jet stream and therefore we have a low pressure region over here because air is rising up from here and that is why we see that whenever there is a lower limb of jet stream we will see a high pressure region because air descends over here while when we see a uh, upward limb of jet stream we will see a low pressure region because the there is a divergence the air is decreasing and in order to fulfill or compensate for the decrease of air in the upper atmosphere air from the ground rises up and thus creating low pressure on the ground now because the air is rising over here if there is any moisture we will see cloud formation because we know that rising air is adiabatically cooled giving clouds and therefore rainfall so these limbs generally are accompanied by rainfalls while here where there is a high pressure and the air is descending it leads to clear sky because we know that the descending air will get adiabatically heated and it will not form any clouds or will not give any kind of rains therefore we can see that here we have clouds while here we have clear weather and this is true all across the globe these jet stream continuously move or circulate around the earth so we can see that these environments keep on changing alternatively when we have a lower limb over any region there is a high pressure zone and the weather is clear while if there is an upward limb over an area then we will see that the cloudy weather is there so you can see that this is how the high pressure and low pressure region is associated with the jet stream and this is how it also changes the atmosphere based on which limb is there above that region in this animation you can also see that because the jet streams are turning over here we have this kind of circulations over here this is clockwise circulation that is anti that is anti cyclonic circulations are there and here we see that there is a air which is moving in this direction so we see anti clockwise circulations so this is how high pressure region and low pressure region are associated with the jet streams when you will study the monsoon of india you will see that the lower limb of the jet stream is on india which creates a high pressure region over our indian subcontinent thus we do not get monsoon till this jet stream lies over our indian subcontinent this understanding of jet stream will allow you to understand a lot of climatic phenomena I hope you like this video and if you have liked then please subscribe and share with your friends and please follow us on our Twitter and Instagram thank you